Hey everyone this is Dhruvin and I welcome you all to Power Apps beginner series you are watching 17th part of this series and in this session we are going to talk about how we can call power automate from power apps with parameters so now let's get started now first of all let me talk about the agenda for today's session in this session first of all we are going to create one microsoft flow which accept two different parameter from the power apps then power automate flow will perform some actions and return some variables to our power apps i am going to explain you some basic concept which will help you in our next sessions where we are going to manage permissions using power automate or microsoft flow so now let's get started so this is the power apps that we have created in our earlier session now to get started first of all we need to create one power automate flow over here for that go to flow.microsoft.com click on new and select instant from blank from here now just provide a name of your flow i am providing my flow name as power apps in out parameter now choose a trigger so i want to trigger this flow from power apps so i'm selecting power apps click on create so my trigger action has been added as power apps over here now let me just define some variable so i am searching for initialize a variable let me accept a variable email i need this input from power apps let me just define its type as string and now this value is something which will be accepting from the power apps right now before i do that let me just rename my action email right now in value as i need this input from power apps just click on ask in power apps so it will ask input value from power apps click on new step now let me just initialize one more variable over here so search for an action initialize variable my variable name is phone number it is also a string variable and i also need that value from power apps let me just rename my action and now let me ask for a value right so i am accepting two inputs from my power apps right now what i want to do here is i want to concatenate email and phone number together and i want to return that variable to my power apps now let me just define one output variable so let me just initialize variable v output right now let me just rename my variable action name now this is also a string variable and what would be its value its concatenate function so let me just type a function concatenate in concat basically i need to provide uh, two variables so my first variable is email and then i want to combine phone number as well so let's pass two variables and click on enter right so concat function has been added now my output is stored to this specific variable right now this is my output variable let me just rename this action right now i want to return this output variable from microsoft flow to power automate so how can i do that for that we need to add one action and we need to search for power apps here we have an action respond to power apps or flow just select that once you select that it will allow you to add the output parameter once you click that you can see that here there are six different parameters that you can pass from flow to power apps these parameters are text boolean value which is yes or no file email number and date right now let's pass some variable so basically this is the text output so let me just 
pass a variable as vText output and I want to pass this output to my text output right so I'm just selecting the output variable over here now let me add one more variable that success v success is equal to true I want to pass right so from expression let me just pass true right now same way uh, you can pass file as well let me pass email over here v email so I am just passing the variable that I have received from the power apps so I am just passing that email you can also pass the number variable as well so let me pass vnum28 then you can also pass date variable as well so v date right and in date let's pass current date time utc right so this is how i have passed different types of variable from my power apps to flow right now let's just save our flow and now i'm showing you how you can call this power automate flow from the power apps go to your power apps go to the action menu and now here you have an option power automate right now for an example i want to add that on my button let's place one button over here now go to the action menu click on power automate so so this will show all the available flow from your environment now we have created this particular flow power apps in out parameter so i am going to add this flow click on that and it will show adding option over here so the flow has been added on select event of the button remember one thing whenever you need some input from your power apps then you need to create your microsoft flow first and then you need to add your flow inside the power apps right now it is asking for two parameters email and phone number so let me pass email as current users email so user dot email and then phone number right so I have called my power automate flow with this now my flow is also returning some parameters to me right now which are those parameters I am returning around five different parameters from my flow to power apps now I want those value to be retrieved in power apps so how can I do that there are two different ways to fetch the power automate value from power apps first is using set variable and second one is using collection I am going to explain you both the things in detail let's say from this flow I am returning five different variable now I only need this text output over here then I can simply use set variable over here I can define set variable is v text output and then I can call this flow and after that I just press dot and it will show all the written parameter name so I need my text output so I'm just selecting that one right so it will set that value inside this variable right now let's say I want to store the entire output over here right then what I need to do here is I need to use collect function in collect we need to provide the flow collection name flow output then we just need to use the same flow just copy this right so I am calling this flow over here like this and here it is my output will be stored into this particular collection right now whenever I need the collection value I just call it using collection name dot its variable right now let me just hit enter and now let me just run my flow so I am pressing alter plus click 
and my flow is being ran right now let's check the outcome so let me go here and let me just check collection so this is the flow output collection that we just prepared and you can see that all the variables has been set successfully here whenever you double click you can see this table structure with the output right same way let's say for this particular variable you can see that this concatenated string is being stored here right now let's say if you want to separate the value from collection then how can you do that let's say I want to print the value from my collection to label how can I do that let me just press some labels over here so go to the label select first press your collection name my collection name is flow output dot its column name what I want to print here date right so the date will print it like this right same way let's say I want uh, email right so I just need to use email right same way you can print the other variables as well now let's check the flow ran let me go to my power automate flow and here you can see that the flow ran successfully I initialize the email phone number this is something which is passed from the power apps this is the output parameter that we are going to pass from Microsoft flow to power apps and this is the response that we are going to receive inside the power apps right so this is how we can call our power automate flow from power apps with the input parameter and we can return the end result from power automate to power apps so hope this is clear for you now if you have any question related to this topic you can add your questions in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel Stay tuned with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and WhatsApp. If you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel, click on this link. It will be redirecting you to this form. Fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification on your WhatsApp number. Stay connected with me. Have a great day. Goodbye.